the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video multiplication of single digit numbers where the result is also a single digit number let us take the example 2 multiply by 3 here 2 is the multiplier and 3 is the multiplicand we have to set the number 2 in the extreme left of the abacus let us count the number of digits of the multiplier and the multiplicand as we are dealing with the single digit numbers in both the multiplier and multiplicand the total number of digits is 2 in the abacus multiplication we have to add one column to the number of digits which will make the total number of digits as 3 for the purpose of placement of the digit of the multiplicand let us move to the right side of the abacus and start counting from the right extreme that is the first is the units column second is the tens column and the third is the hundreds column where we have to set the number 3 which is the multiplicand let us multiply 2 and 3 which is 6 we already explained that when the multiplied value is a single digit number we should always prefix 0 and treat that as a, a double digit number for the purpose of setting the values so here the 6 should be treated as 0 6 that means the number 0 should be set in the immediate right of the number 3 what do we mean by setting 0 we simply leave that column and move to the right we are now in the units column where we have to set the number 6 you can notice that unless the number 6 is treated as 0 6 we should have set the number to the immediate right of the first number 6 and the units column empty that would have shown the result as 60 that is why we have to treat the multiplied values in the form of double digits even if it is a single digit number thereby prefixing 0 to it now let us take uh, one more example let us take 4 as the multiplier 2 as the multiplicand and uh, we set uh, first we clear the numbers in the abacus first uh, we set the number 4 in the extreme left of the abacus as there are two digits in the multiplier and the multiplicand put together we count them add one more column for the abacus and set the number 2 in the hundreds column set the number 2 in the hundreds column now let us multiply 4 and 2 that is 8 which should be considered as 0 8 as the multiplied value is a single digit number here 0 should be set to the right of number 2 that is we have to leave the column and go to the units column where we set uh, number 8 and then uh, we clear the multiplicand uh, to the answer we get uh, here is 8 hope this exercise will give a clear understanding for why we have to treat uh, the multiplied values in double digits in case they are actually single digit values